that's not true. You're the most beautifulest woman in the world and you are doing more than anyone else and you are awesome, queen. Hello? Okay, wait. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, I'm sorry that I just, like, every time I start filming, I, like, notice something about how I look because, like, I... I don't know. Because, let me tell you one thing. Portrait mode is crazy. Like, I have learned more about the happenings on my skin through the portrait mode camera than I have through 20 years of living in it. So that's... That's a thinker. Um, also, okay, crazy talk. Do you want to see my student ID? That's me. I don't even know if I can... That's crazy. Because that's when I was, what, 17, just turned 18, somewhere in there. And I guess it kind of ties into today's video, which is about feeling ugly or just feeling inferior because you know what i'm feeling that tonight i have been really struggling with feeling ugly or like not good enough for so long and it's it's kind of interesting that that's come back in recent months because i've really just been at home working and doing stuff in treatment and so it's interesting that at a time where my appearance really hasn't played a role in anything that i've done in the last few months um, other than photography and that's been healing in a way because seeing yourself as a subject instead of just as yourself can be very healing and there's something equalizing about it like you see yourself the same way you would see anyone else um, but that's a whole separate thing maybe I'll talk about art at some point <laughs> um, but yeah I just kind of wanted to talk about that because I was on Instagram today and I was just like geez seems like everyone is celebrating their relationship without ever stopping to ask me how I feel about it and how that would affect me. <laughs> like, nobody asked if I could, if they could celebrate their anniversary. People can be so toxic. No, but I was on there and I was just like, geez, everybody is in love. All these girls are prettier than me. Everyone is doing something crazy and so cool with their career. And what do I do? I'm spending a whole summer in my bedroom or at work. And it's not a bad thing, you know what I mean? Like that's a, re like everyone's on their own path. And I know that's so annoying to hear when it's like, okay, well, why is everyone else's path like paved in gold and mine is made out of like little piles of turd, you know what I mean? Like, and that's not true. And I think the way we tend to view ourselves through this like hyper-focused lens can be such an issue because I know everyone is like, social media is a highlight reel. And it's like, yeah, we heard. Like, everyone has said those words at this point. Um, but I was just thinking about how, like, well, what would you think if you looked at my social media? You know what I mean? Like, if you're looking at my main account, you're going to see mostly the good moments because people don't really post all the times that they didn't get accepted to something or all the things that they wanted to do but didn't end up happening. It's so easy to compare ourselves when we're already kind of insecure because I think social media can be such a wonderful thing if you're like, oh my god, my friends, they're doing all these cool things. I love my friends. I love all the people I follow. I'm so inspired by their creative stuff and like all of the things they're doing are things that I would love to do one day and this is so cool. If you're already kind of feeling dookie about yourself, you're not gonna see those things through an objective lens or you're gonna basically you're gonna see them through the lens that reaffirms how you're already feeling like isn't this crazy that's like some Dwayne the Rock Johnson shit like do you see that why am I kind of jacked in the neck only <laughs> well okay we're gonna leave that um <laughs> but that's been something that I've just been kind of struggling with lately. It's like, well, it feels like everyone is doing more than me, doing cooler things than me, and all the while doing it prettier than me. And you know what? Maybe they are. And that doesn't have to have anything to do with me. You know what I mean? I think we just kind of, we see ourselves in relation to other things, and like in relation to other people, when really like, we exist entirely independent of what other people are doing or how other people look or other people's relationships or other people's career opportunities or other people's wins. Like they literally have nothing to do with us. You know, it's like if you were in a pool and everyone is like swimming in their own lane, 
imagine like you, the only reason you care what someone in another lane is doing is because you can see them but if you were just staying in your own lane and just swimming and focusing on yourself you could be like wow i did better today than i did yesterday or celebrate like those little things instead of being like geez this person next to me is so fast so that's my metaphor <laughs> but yeah i just kind of wanted to talk about that because i feel like everyone feels this way at some point and oh my god what was the other thing i was gonna say that was really oh i was sitting on the toilet as as one does and i was thinking like do I feel ugly or do I feel inferior? Do I feel ugly or do I feel like I'm lacking in something in my personal life? Because I think sometimes we choose these terms without thinking about what they actually mean. So it's like, I feel ugly, but has how I look changed at all? Maybe, it, in some ways, sure. But like, it's not really about feeling ugly. It's about the connotations that we have with that. Where like, that just kind of encapsulates everything that you don't feel good about. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. I don't feel like I'm fulfilled. I don't feel like I'm f like doing things that are creative or doing things that go with my value. I feel bored. I feel like I'm not doing anything in my life. I feel like I have unfulfilled potential. Like it could be all these things where I feel like I really want to be loved or I really feel invalidated right now and what I really want is to be validated. But you know what? No amount of- <sighs> Okay, um, this video is over. No, I'm just kidding. Every time I put- We're well, not gonna do my pajanta, or like what? I'm just kidding. This is my best friend. This is my best friend. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Or you can stay down here. But really, like, no amount of validation can fix how you feel about yourself. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and I know that to be true from experience. Like people can be like, oh my God, this looks so good. Or, oh my God, you look so pretty. But if you feel ugly, like there will always be some kind of caveat. Like, well, no, but I'm not doing as much as this person. Or yeah, but it's not as good as I want it to be. Or like, yeah, but I have been feeling really ugly. Or, are you in or are you out? And I don't think we necessarily need to go into why we feel comparison. Like, it's pretty fucking obvious. You see yourself, you see someone else. You might, you know, make a few observations. Um, and obviously social media exacerbates that. Everyone knows that. Even a kid who just has a leapfrog knows that. But it's like, okay, yeah, we feel this way, so what do we do about it? And focus on yourself is a great idea in theory. <laughs> but sometimes that's really fucking hard. But I do think one thing we can do is give ourselves what we're searching for in other people or like validate ourselves so that we're not constantly searching for validation from others and that can be so hard to do because when you're feeling down on yourself all you want is for someone to be like that's not true you're the most beautifulest woman in the world and you are doing more than anyone else and you are awesome queen but i think if we would just check in with ourselves and be like what do I need right now? Because like, it's so easy to just get stuck in scrolling and like kind of keep doing things that you know are making you feel bad. But it's like, if I wanna feel good right now, maybe I need to go for a walk. Maybe I need to read my book. Maybe I need to make a list of the good things in my life. Sorry, I thought she was coming back in. Maybe I need to just focus on what's actually here and what I can actually do about it. Because no amount of scrolling no amount of getting validation from others will fix how you see yourself. That's something that you have to do by yourself and for yourself. And other people can support you, but no one can do it for you. And I think that's something that's so important to realize is that if you want things to get better, you can have other people support you all you want, but it's also going to take you doing stuff as well. And sometimes it takes a ton of support from other people. Like I have had people... <sighs> who if they could do the work for me they would have done it in a heartbeat but my life didn't really start to get better until i started like taking treatment seriously or until i started actually like doing the work to stop relying on things like makeup or what guys think of me or if i'm attractive and when i stopped letting that decide how i saw myself as a person or when i started actually doing exposure and response prevention therapy which is so hard like Sometimes you catch yourself talking about all these things you wanted to do or talking about what's not going so good in your life. 
but it's like if you don't actually do the things you're talking about if you don't like i could talk about ocd all the time i could talk about ocd for hours and hours and hours but if i'm not actually doing my exposures and practicing response prevention and making exposure therapy a lifestyle it doesn't matter how much i talk about it you know what i mean like we can so that's just one example but like we can talk about all these changes we want to make in our lives and sometimes we know what we need to do but we just don't feel like it and that's some of the biggest advice i can give you is to act despite feeling some like if we constantly wait for us to like feel like we want to do something or for us to want to do something we might never do it but if you're like okay i'm just gonna put my shoes on and go for a little walk around the block that's something and just making yourself do these things is what's ultimately going to change how you feel and make you want to do those things more you know what i mean like sometimes we just have to force ourselves to do things that will make us feel better like getting off our phones or getting off dating apps or like whatever it is that we're using to try to fulfill some or just fill some void in our lives um and this is also kind of a pep this is also kind of a pep talk for myself because like this is what i needed to hear tonight you know what i mean like i need to stop thinking I'm not pretty or trying to see if I am pretty or whatever and focus on the underlying feelings of that like I don't feel like I am feeling fulfilled right now so maybe I need to spend time with people or maybe I need to journal or maybe I need to read my book or do something that kind of pulls you out of that state that you're in and I realize that oh my goodness and I realize that this is first of all this video is all over the place Second of all, it's so much easier said than done. Um, but I think sometimes we just need someone to be like, hey, listen, you feel like shit, you needed to do something about that. No one else can fix that for you. You're not gonna get it from these things that you think you're gonna get it from, whether it's having a significant other or having someone tell you you're pretty or getting an award or, ow, fuck. <laughs> it actually didn't hurt, you know, like how you, Okay, well, so that was, so that was that. <laughs> Basically, I want people to know that if you feel this way, you're not the only one. I think literally the person whose Instagram looks the most perfect and whose life looks the most amazing ever has days like this too. Also, we shouldn't need to know that other people also feel bad sometimes for us to feel okay feeling bad sometimes, but that's a whole other thing. You're never alone in this feeling. Everyone feels this way sometimes and those things that you think are gonna bring you happiness, whether it's losing weight, whether it's having your dream body, whether it's like having your dream relationship or whatever it is, isn't gonna change how you feel about yourself on the inside, which is ultimately what shapes how you see yourself in literally every part of your life. You can have the perfect relationship, but feel like you don't deserve it and that kind of puts a damper on it or feel like you're not pretty enough for them so that kind of takes away from how amazing it is. I think sometimes we just need to take some time to do shit for ourselves that will actually make us feel better even if sometimes we don't want to do that <laughs> because when you feel like shit the last thing you want to do is usually the things that will make you feel better like i would love to just lay in my bed right now and do nothing and that sounds like a dream like i'm really selling myself on that even when i'm talking about how i can't do that like sometimes we just need to force ourselves to have a change of pace or do something that can just kind of trigger an emotional shift like literally what am i talking about i'm just going in circles taking everyone with me but basically i've been feeling ugly i've been feeling like i don't do enough i've been struggling with comparison and i'm sick of my own shit at some point you just have to realize whatever i'm searching for i'm not gonna get it from here and so i need to start trying to give it to myself from here and let how i see myself determine how i see myself rather than how other people do or don't see it me or how other people are doing whatever they do so that that doesn't influence I, I feel like that one Noah Centineo speech where he's like it's not about what you've done it's about what you do with what you've done for others um but I but I <laughs> okay I think I should probably end this because I'm gonna keep talking a lot without saying anything we just gotta what do we just gotta, we just gotta try to show up for ourselves the way we wish everyone else would. 
because external things will come and go. You could be, you know, at the top of your career. You could have just won a marathon, but eventually those things aren't gonna be true anymore. Like maybe you can't run anymore or maybe you're booking fewer jobs now. So we really have to not let those external things determine how we feel about ourselves because they are fleeting. Anything external is fleeting. You can have someone who, this is gonna get dark, who tells you how beautiful and how talented you are every single day and then one day you guys break up or that person moves away or whatever it is. So we really can't let, we can't place how we view ourselves in things that are changing all the times because you know what is not changing is the core of who you are and so we just need to have how we feel come from here not from anything out there i hope this is helpful i hope it made a little bit of sense even though i'm like a muppet i'm like a muppet i'm like the adults in charlie brown movies like like not saying anything but I don't know. Maybe at the very least, it makes you know that you're not the only one who feels this way if you feel this way. But yeah, so I will see you next week.